Well, we're back. I've made a few signings and may have forgot what game we're coming back for and played an extra game. So we're not playing the Arbitrality Bluebirds. I just played them. My bad. This is Quavage Gamer. My name is Duncan. Welcome back to the journeyman. So, welcome everybody. Let's start with form. It's been shit. That's pretty much enough said. Uh, we left, uh, if I remember correctly, after the Ammonford game where we draw due to all. We then got beat by Larry Town 2-1. We drew now now with a good actual point in getting the result there. And then we lost 2-0 to Barry. We just lost 2-1 to, to the Abertillery Bluebirds. But we are taking on South Gower today. A team we could and need to take points off of. And we'll then play the Card of Corries on the 1st of March. Next episode we'll take on Athen Lido and Goy United. Before finishing the season against two teams. I hope, hope that when we get to these two games. We are safe from relegation. Because if not, we could go down. Okay. We have, however, had some transfers going on. Billy Kirkman's had offers. Let's first look at who left. We managed to get Kane McLagan gone. His £55 a week, gone. Absolute disaster of a signing for us. Didn't work. No longer here. And Kieran Allen re received an offer from Port Talbot. He left. Not too bothered, to be honest. But we have made signings. Uh, ben Arthur's we've seen. So next came in was a striker, Brendan Bennett. He's a pressing forward. He's pretty much a second striker. Like he's not your goal scorer. Or if you had a two man partnership, he'd be the second striker. Can play also right mid, left mid, centre mid. Like he's just an all round decent player. He can fill in a number of roles. We then signed Andrew Goodwin, seventeen year old centre half, six foot two, fantastic jumping, can't head for shit. But we actually have been playing him. He's played. A couple of games, three games for us uh, in the league this season. He's, he's just coming in. He's 17. We're putting a bit of faith into the boy. And our last signing is Sam Snaith, a guy who I kind of tried to sign before. He's came in as a second-choice striker. Uh, target man, something I feel we've been lacking. But there is all our striking options. Yes, Dan Jones is still technically our best striker, but he'll never, ever be playing up front for us. Well, he is our left-back. So this is... The team we played last game, but it's not the team we are playing today. Because against South Gower, we're going to go 4 4 2. I just want to see if we can force the issue a little bit and try and get any opposition where we are winning. So try to give ourselves the best possible there. Small's going to take him out, play Tom's, take you off, play Hurley. Jake Cook did what he usually did and gave away another penalty. So that was fun for us. Um. Who's on my bench? Alan Jones can come back with the bench. Yeah, that that works. That's the team we're going to go for today. I'm kind of tempted to keep Goodwin, but I might bring Nash in just for the sake of today's game. Uh, Goodwin can stay on the bench. Young's on the bench as well. No, in fact, I'm going to put Rogers on the bench just... So we can go back to that 4 one 4 one if need be. But this is what we're going with for today. Haven't found a goalkeeper. Scouts haven't found a goalkeeper. We don't even have a scouting budget to find a goalkeeper. So Evans is still in goals. We rejected a load of offers. Morgan Sadler, Henry Nash, um, Young, Connor Young, sorry. Um, all received loads of offers. But they've all stayed. Morgan Sadler was even off a pre-contract with the club. But he stayed. Nobody really wants to enter a contract negotiation with me until we are secure. And the only way we're doing that is winning the next fucking four games, really. Because we need to get away from this point. We are only staying up on goal difference. And it's one goal in it just now. We need to win. And that is really all there is to it. Jones had a really good game last game. So he's staying. Jack Williams has been pretty... Sh Poor again, but I don't really have a good option for there. 
they're fucks it. Give it a fifth in the form table. And we're fifteenth. Kind of shows you where our season's going. You know, we've still not picked up a win in God knows how long now. But let's hope today ends all of this. Oh, the nerves are kicking in now. We may be getting sacked very soon. If we get relegated, we're sacked. That's just what it'll do. The game won't let us manage in a league that doesn't exist in game, so we'll be sacked. So let's see what happens. We've just kept Tom Sadler right back, but I've been quite happy with him being there. He's just left that centre mid option. They said a mid centre back option for us a little bit. Crappy, but that's we've been playing the youngster there. He, to be honest, once we've been getting beat, he's, he's played okay in the three games. I know his average late and looks shit, but um, he's actually done okay. I feel that is a poor goal though. That we are now one nil down, and and I'm panicking. Uh, Brit. Well, everybody seems happy. I've shouted and balled at them. Let's hope they get the finger out and start doing something. With that, we've just dropped out of the relegation zone. As things currently stand, we are third bottom in the relegation zone. Yes, uh, Cumberland Celtic have a game still to play. Uh, they're not playing at the moment. That's a good ball, though. Snake to Arthurs! So, good save by Hill. Would having two strikers help me here? Possibly. I don't know. Dan Jones, though, or Dylan Jones. I don't know how I said that one. It's Dylan Jones. Arthur's has done this pretty well, just coming in. Sadler. Give it to somebody. Back post. Williams! Oh, f has to put that away. What a chance that is. Can we get it in now? Dan Jones this time. Ball in. Doesn't really go far. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. They've got a corner. I bet this goes in. Nash heads it clear. So out to him. Somebody out to him. That's a good ball at the back post. Great save by Evans. Come on, lads. Don't get... Oh, no! Not another bastard and penalty. <sighs> Sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Come on, Evans. Oh, no. Fucking hell. We are not creating... Where are we not doing well? I may drop Hurley, bring Rogers on at half time, move Toms and Rogers at the DM role, just have two of them sitting that bit deeper. Good save, good save. Evans is keeping us in this just now. Toms clears it. Price picks it up. Come on, lads. Out to it. Oh, no. Keep track the runners. Oh, God, there's two of them. Kenny, he should have squared that. They should have been 2-0 up. They are not capitalising here. It's the only thing that's given me a bit of faith. Snaith wins that ball. Arthurs hits it from long. He had all the time there. He took another touch, ran out of the box with that. We are making changes here at halftime because this is just not... Currently working. Jones might come off as well. We might have to make some big changes. Lloyd. Evans with a good save. Not the best free kick though, to be fair. Come on, lads. Yeah, just get it out. I don't care where it goes. Just not in the box. Keep the ball out of our box. Yes, done. Right foot, right through the fucking thing. That's why you're my favourite centre half at the moment. Nash to Jones. Jones plays a kind of a poor ball to Snape. He keeps it up. He's good. He's held it. Plays it Jack Williams. Will he find somebody in the box? He's went himself. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, I should have squared it, the glory hunting bastard, but it's good effort. Oh dear. Jones. Williams. Cry cross Arthurs! Come on! We're back in. Ben Arthurs, you've been playing shit so far. Probably had a couple chances you should have done better with. 
slots that home. Let's look at this again. Dan Jones with the throw into Jack Williams. One touch to take control. One touch head across. And Arthur's with a first touch finish across the keeper. 1-1. One, one. We are back in this game. We are back out of the relegation zone. Oh my god. Jones. Done. Toms. Jones. Nice little pass and triangles. That's what you want to see. Williams. Arthur's. Should have gave that back to Toms. We've played it wide to Dylan Jones. That's a great bad play. Snaith holds it up. Gives it back to Dylan Jones. Jones! Jones! 2-1. Oh, they're going to be kicking themselves. They've missed the penalty. They've missed so many chances. They should have been 2-3 up by now. But we've just took the lead for the first time this game. Oh, no. Don't do this to me before half time. Okay, half time. We are 2 now, 2 1 up, sorry. We are still going to make a couple of changes though, because things are going well. Derek, do not get sent off here. Williams get sent off one of the other games, um, which was a pain in the ass. Cook, I need you to do my favour, son. Do not give away another penalty, okay? Tom's He's playing okay. He is, he's doing okay ish. I just need you also not to get sent off. Let's see what happens second half. Come on, lads. We need this win more than you'll ever fucking know. Snaith and Jones seem to be working really well together. Snaith is that target man. He's doing his job perfectly. And he had he kinda did it the last game, he'd get a bad rating, but any clip we've seen of him, he was doing well. So Snaith might actually have worked out to be quite a shrewd we sign him for us, but the proof is in more than just like three appearances, whatever the hell he's actually got. Mostly from the bench. The first game he started, and he's got an assist. Not expecting him to be a goal scorer much, but if he can hold the ball up and get others into play, that would help us a lot. That's exactly what we missed last season, and arguably this season. Jones, Williams, back to Toms. Toms has a shot blocked by the Defender, not the greatest effort, but we'll take it. Still not playing well. Johnson may have to come on, but he's a completely different type of player. Won it. Won it. Right, they've headed that over. We're doing okay. Oh, Mackenzie Toms just isn't playing well. Thomas Sadler throws it to Cook. But Sadler plays it inside to Toms. Hits the ball the back post. Williams! Good save again by Hill. Williams probably should be scoring that, to be fair. That's a good save by their keeper. Dylan Jones, ball into the box. Doesn't get one. You've got to beat Lammy to that. Arthurs does. Why my striker so far out of the box? I don't know. Won that, lads. Won that, lads. Evans again. Fresh here. Swiped. He's not even back in the fucking goal. Shit. It's too all. Evans is costing us goals now. I mean, he's always been costing us goals. But fuck. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Why? You're not even watching the ball, Evans. We're now 3 2 down. Fuck. Oh, no. No. I cannot believe you're now. Fuck. Actually doing well and we throw it away from a stupid mistake twice from Evans. And then whatever the fuck that was meant to be defensively. There's so many guys I could just take off just now. Oh, fuck me. Oh, now he's injured. Of course he's 
fucking injured or I don't have a replacement. Fuck. Congratulations, Aaron Williams are out playing in goals for me. We're back in the relegation zone. I can't fucking believe this. Honestly, I'm just so deflated right now. Great. I don't know how many times this happened in these two seasons, but not having a goalkeeper on the bench is routinely biting me in the arse. Was also biting me in the arse having Joe Evans as a fucking goalkeeper. Remember when I was so excited when we signed him? Yeah, it's just not a thing anymore, is it? I'm lucky for Martha's. Thing is, like, two of those goals, I can't even blame the defence, I can only blame Evans. One of the goals, it's a free kick into a guy who isn't a goalkeeper. I mean, take the keep. Oh, done. You're on a booking. What an absolute shit show. We've just been beat 6 2. It is the second time this season I think we've been beat 6-2. Fucking hell. We have imploded today. Actually just imploded. Oh, we're one point behind Afton Lido. Cumberland and Celtic still have a... Oh, fuck, they've all got games still to play. By the end of this game day, like game day 25, by the end of that, we could be second bottom. Two points behind. Sorry, two points behind the team above us in 15, uh, 14th. And potentially three points behind safety? Oh, fuck. Evans is out with a fractured wrist. He's missing five to six weeks. Which one? Fuck. I honestly... I'll see you back for the next game. And we are back. Two changes to the team today. Two of them, both in force. Connor Young's coming in for the suspended Dunn. Clayton coming in for the injured Evans. That That's kind of it. We're, just, we're not changing anything. We should be okay here. We need to win. We need to kind of go for it. So the assist man's recommend we go a bit cautious. I'm just saying we're staying balanced. We need to win. Snaith and Arthur seem to be doing quite well together. So let's see if that partnership can continue. I mean, all going well, we don't get elgated. We can see it continuing. We won't see it continuing next year because Arthur's is on loan. Bollocks. But we might be able to see Snaith in as a 
maybe more of a leading man. This is almost a clash of kits again. Not quite, but it's awkward to see. I just don't fully know what's going on anymore. Oh, come on, lads. One minute on the clock. Right. That's fine. They've had a corner. Didn't do anything. Let's get in at ourselves. Huh? Let's get in at ourselves. And we are. That must be Dan Jones. Left back hitting the corner in. Come on, Dan. Pick out a man. Hits it straight to the first defender. But Dylan Jones picks up. Plays it to Dan Jones. Dan Jones. <sighs> hits the shot. Keeper saves it. And it goes wide. I think with Dylan Jones hitting this one now. Here it is. Jones right in the middle. Nobody there though. Williams pass it back to Jones. Takes outside. Cuts it across. Arthur's but tackled. Corey. Whoever the hell this team is, or fans, I forgot this team's name. I just see Corey and I've got the fucking theme tune go off my head. Is it the Cardiff Corries? Cardiff Corries, yeah. So far, pretty even it looks like. In terms of stats. No team really breaking the other down. Scotcher, the player they've got, Scotcher. I tried to sign him at one point. I think in the summer I tried to sign Scotcher. Didn't want to come. Anyway, Hurley, Toms, Young, out to Dan Jones, back into Evans or whoever that is, Young, Toms, back to Dan Jones, back to Young, plays a long ball over the top, Toms is running on it, can he hit it across, Snaith's with the header, 1-0, Sam Snaith, it's his fifth goal of the season, but I think it's his first goal for us, and that is what he's there for, if we can get the ball into the box, we have our big target man to head it in the net. We take the lead. Don't fuck this up. Good defensive header. Can we win the ball back? Good bit of pressing in there. Get back out of position. <laughs> that was a left back. Way out of position. Snaith though. Don't fuck this up. Good pass to Jack Williams. Inside to Toms. Dodges one. Good bit of play. Jones. Poor touch. Both teams are just kind of going at each other just now. Dylan Jones tried to make the block, doesn't get there. Dan Jones does, but heads it back to the guy behind him. Good save, Clayton. Thank Christ. Poor bit of defending there from Dan Jones, but you know, we did okay ish in the rest of the build up. That is a poor goal to lose. Owen Evans with the header. We are weak defensively, we know that. Just didn't pick up the runner. I think we've just come out of the relegation zone. But I'm not sure. Right. We're still in the game though. It's only 1-0. This is okay so far. Although they've got another corner. Remember and pick up your men this time. Jones tries to clear it. But there's nobody up there. Everybody must be back defending. I don't deal with the set pieces, that's my assistant manager. Don't foul them, whatever we do, just keep it free. Nash, good clearance. Jack Williams now running with the ball. Can he keep going down the wing with us? Even one is a corner. Cuts it back to Toms, plays it to Snaith. Snaith takes an awful first touch, but the injured Baldy just tries to control it, hits it back to him, and then Snaith just places it into the bottom corner. Snaith with the double, we take the lead again, look at this awful first touch, Baldi tries to just kind of clear it with his left foot goes straight back to Snaith and just passes it in, we take the lead again fucking hell this is going to be one of those games is it but that's two assists for Toms and two goals for Snaith, Toms is out of contract in the summer I believe Arthur's though Arthur's there, cuts it back to Williams lose out Scorcher, pass by Dylan Jones 3-1 is this us now trying or fighting valiantly to actually stop ourselves from getting relegated? Because Treff and I am weirdly getting attached to you, so please do not, do not make me get sacked. We're going into half time and we're winning. I don't know the last time I said that and felt okay and not wary. Williams, Hurley, but we'll keep an eye on both their performances. If they start to drop, we will make the changes. 
but I'm not 100% sure on who to make the changes for. As we begin the second half, Tom's has finally shown what he can do, which it's took near enough to the end of the season, well, it is the end of the season, but the final few games of the season for him to do something. That's a decent ball. Snesha done much better. He's a lot better at holding the ball up than that. Baldi's still playing. He's got that knock, but that is a poor thing. Dan Jones. Don't think much happened. They both just missed it. Can we win that ball at the back post? No. But the balls went over, so we're still okay. I think I will very shortly be bringing on Alad Jones. I don't think I'll bring on Williams. No, in fact, I will bring on Williams. I'm going to bring on Aaron Williams. He'll replace Jack Williams. Just a wide midfielder. He has before been quite good as a header of the ball for us. Jack Williams cuts back to Toms. Arthurs, back to Dan Jones. Cuts inside, plays it back to Young. Young plays the ball over the top for Arthurs. Defender clears it, but Jack Williams picks up the ball. Cuts it across Snaith. Doesn't win it. Does he win as a corner? He does. The change will now take place. Aaron Williams will come on. I'm just <laughs> sitting around quietly with bated breath. Here we go again. Ball in the back post. Aaron Williams. See, that's what he can do. He is going to win the headers there. Just a bad effort, but he did win the header there. Which we like to see. Dan Jones could really do against subbed off. He's not having the best game, but he's just won the ball there and just lumped it forward. Nowhere near anybody. There's 20 minutes left. Dylan Jones intercepts that ball. Arthurs takes a touch. Toms. What, what the fuck happened there? What has actually happened there? I know we get the free kick, but like, what happened? <laughs> Did he stand on him? Like, I don't know. I'm not making any other changes. I'm not making a change for change's sake. We're just keeping it as is. This is the first, this could be the first game we have won and I honestly don't know how long. But this is giving me the fear. Mitchell with a corner for them. If we lose three goals here, I will cry. Oh, I was almost in, but Aaron Williams clears it with the header off the line. The keeper was well beat. Ball goes in the back post. Brock doesn't, Brock does win it over Tom Sadler. Clear it. Jones clears it. Arthurs. Come on, ref, send them off. As I look through my mystery hatch. Hello, mystery hatch. Okay, mystery hatch. Ball goes out in the back post. Can we clear it? Can we finally pick up three bastard and points? Good tackle, Hurley. To Snaith. Aaron Williams is advancing. He's got to be offside. Arthur's is offside, no? Yeah, he's blowing the whistle. Blow the whistle, end the game, ref. We'll end the game, ref. Oh, that is a big, big win for us. Oh, what a win. <laughs> Let's have a look at the table. Let's see what that actually does for us. 26 games played, and it's just took us out of the relegation zone again. We are two points clear. Our next two games are against the two teams above us. Afin Lido next, followed by... I'm assuming it's still Goito United. I still don't know how to pronounce that name. If we could pick up six points there... We put a team between us in that relegation zone going into the last two games of the season against top six sides. Oh, if we're going to beat the drop, we need maximum points in those two games. So join me next episode when we will do arguably the two games that may, may save our job. Catch you next time. Bye for now.